Friends, Facebook user Slamology2024, baby, let's go. You know, I'm excited. And speaking of Slamology, that's not until June 8th. Uh, there's actually a TDH show down in Virginia that I will be attending, and we are giving some kicker stuff away. If you're going to TDH, come say hi to Andy. Eddie G Unit, I need that 50% off discount code. Well, you just missed it. We had kicking it with Andy this Tuesday, and uh, you're going to have to wait another two weeks. But every other Tuesday, make sure you tune in. And uh, I know I know Baba and 25 are hoarding the 20 the 50 percent off discount code. So make sure you tune in. It's a little rigged. RVH here. Are there any of these lithium batteries capable of being hideaway without having to baby to be babysat? Being hit away. Okay, so something that's look at that. safe. Oh, look at Kibo. Look at Kibo. I can't. I can't even. We 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 gotta throw it up. I don't care. Kibo. What you say about this guy. <laughs> He's a difference maker. Thank you, Kibo or Kibo. I th I'm going to go with Kibo. Thank you so much, Kibo. Appreciate you. Now, some that are just, you know, I would say anything that's not C-Max. <laughs> Honestly, you know, lithium iron phosphate, it can have its cons too. You know, it's a pretty, uh, it can be dangerous. It's not as safe as LTO and anybody that runs LTO will say the same. But there are pros and cons with LTO as well, just like any battery. But something that's safe and you don't have to worry about and you can hide it away. You always kind of want to have proper ventilation for a battery. But I get what you're saying. You know, something that you don't have to keep tabs on, you know. You can do DIY, but if you're doing it your first time, you might want to keep tabs on it to make sure you did it right. So that's what's great about the pre-built batteries, the Titan 8, the JY, the JPs, the, you know, everything, the Cybers. Those are the ones to go with. And uh, honestly, man, uh, it really doesn't matter. Just at the end of the day, run the battery size that is, you know, that'll work for your system. The last thing you want to do is overstrain a battery. Doesn't matter what chemistry it is. Thank you, RVH. Appreciate you, man. Let's see, you can hide them if you have a Bluetooth BMS to monitor it. You know, this is a good, good question. We're going to zoom in for this one. Okay, so a BMS is more so for a battery you're going to completely discharge and recharge over and over. Like your phone, uh, an e-bike, or a backup solar kind of, you know, generator system. Your backup power supply for your house. Because, you know, we all have those. I have one. Small one. It's starting. But still, that's where you're going to run a BMS. And BMSs can do a lot more than a balancer. But you also, you know, you, you at least want a balancer <laughs> for your lithium batteries. And a balancer, all it does is balance out the voltage between the cells. When they're in series, they can't see one another. When they're in parallel, they will automatically balance out. You won't need a balancer for when they're in parallel. It's when you run them in series, you're going to need a balancer for each cell to, you know, balance. A BMS can do the same thing. Um, but then it's also restricted because how it's connected and it's just, you know, the BMS is going to be rated for so many amps and that's it. And you pull over it, it's going to go into, um, you know, a protection mode. It's, it's got a lot more features to it uh, so that you have low voltage cutoff, high voltage cutoff, over current cutoff, a lot more fancy features. And you kind of want those, but for car audio, that's really hard to get a BMS that's good for 500 amps per battery. And then just it's it's just doesn't make sense it just doesn't make sense but a balancer and maybe a bluetooth voltmeter and then you could just keep an eye on it uh, but honestly a voltmeter in your car you're going to want anyway when you have any kind of stereo you really do catch the living loud with andy show every tuesday and friday 8 30 or 10 o'clock eastern oh i'll see you guys there for sure i swear you have to oh and smash the like and subscribe